The government has been working quietly behind the scenes since early in the pandemic to secure access to vaccines. This was not a simple exercise. More than 200 vaccine candidates were being developed, and not all would succeed. We started talking to the pharmaceutical companies early to understand the science and identify the promising candidates and the vaccines likely to reach production sooner. We set aside more than $1 billion. We placed multiple bets to sign advance purchase agreements and make early down payments for the most promising candidates, including with Moderna, Pfizer-BioNTech and Sinovac. We made arrangements with pharmaceutical companies to facilitate their clinical trials and drug development in Singapore and attracted a few to establish vaccine manufacturing capabilities here. We also supported local efforts to develop a vaccine. This gave our own scientists and researchers the opportunity to do cutting-edge work. It was also insurance in case the global supply chain was disrupted. This way, we built up a diversified portfolio of options to ensure that Singapore would be near the front of the queue for vaccines and not last in line. Securing early access to vaccines was a whole-of-government effort. Many agencies and public officers led by the head of the civil service were involved in this critical mission. I commend them for their good work. They are among the legion of unsung heroes who have helped us get through this crisis. As you would have read in the news, the first vaccines are now coming into production. And I'm very happy to tell you that after studying the scientific evidence and clinical trial data, the Health Sciences Authority, HSA, has approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for pandemic use. The first shipment should arrive by the end of this month, making Singapore one of the first countries to obtain this vaccine. We also expect other vaccines to arrive in Singapore in the coming months. If all goes according to plan, we'll have enough vaccines for everyone in Singapore by the third quarter of 2021. The Ministry of Health has set up a committee of doctors and experts to recommend a vaccination strategy for us. The committee has proposed that our entire adult population should be vaccinated but to make vaccinations voluntary. First priority will be given to those who are at greatest risk, healthcare workers and frontline personnel, as well as the elderly and vulnerable. Thereafter, the committee proposes to progressively vaccinate the rest of the population and to cover everyone who wants a vaccination by the end of next year. The government has accepted these recommendations. I have personal confidence in our experts. My cabinet colleagues and I, including the older ones, will be getting ourselves vaccinated early. This is to show you, especially seniors like me, that we believe the vaccines are safe. We have decided to make vaccinations free for all Singaporeans and for all long-term residents who are currently here. So I strongly encourage you to get vaccinated too when the vaccine is offered to you. Because when you get yourself vaccinated, you're not just protecting yourself, you're also doing your part to protect others, especially your loved ones. The more of us are vaccinated, the harder it will be for the virus to spread and the safer we will all be as a society.